we heard the crash, we woke up with the, the creaking on the bus. Tonight, Bastrop ISD says a bus driver did not yield before crashing a bus with students on board. This happened on Cedar Creek Boulevard. About 25 students from Cedar Creek Middle and Intermediate schools were on the bus, and several were treated for minor injuries. The bus hit a pickup truck. Today's crash led us to ask what schools are doing to keep your children safe when they get on the school bus if something were to happen. We found the state has no mandatory standards for training students to escape from school buses when there is a crash or a fire. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller shows how that has led to a patchwork of policies, making it difficult for parents to learn what is protecting their children. Your turn. Some districts use training videos to help students know what to do in an emergency. But districts don't have to show clips like this or anything for that matter. Here's the backstory. A 2007 law required school bus evacuation training in the fall and spring. It had to last at least an hour, and part of it had to be on a bus. But a couple years later, the current law took its place. It made the training optional and only recommended the sessions once a year. We wanted to know which districts are doing the recommended training. Out of the five we checked, only Leander ISD filled out these forms, letting the state know it completed the optional evacuation lessons. The state had no such records for Austin, Pflugerville, Round Rock, or Dripping Springs ISD. I also believe that it was necessary for students to know how to evacuate a bus. State Representative Helen Giddings authored the original law requiring the training. She says after that law passed, she got some pushback from school administrators and others concerned about time and money. We worked with other legislators who believed that uh, it was necessary for us to cut down on some of what was called mandates that might take students away from an atmosphere in which they were actually learning. Bottom line, these days, school districts get to decide what works for them. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Our investigation found those standards do vary. A spokesperson for Pflugerville ISD says bus drivers review safety and evacuation information with students at the beginning of the year. Other districts use videos, but the length of time spent training does vary. Sometimes police policies rather even vary within the same district. The only real way is to call and check. And we started that process for you, but only a few school districts got back to us today.